guys, Cam McClellan, Al Lewison. Welcome to today's workout of the day. Up in Brisbane at the moment, we've got about an hour before we have to go to dinner with um, our main builder up here, Barnsley, who's been building for us for about, since 2005 I suppose it is. <coughs> we're bored, so we're trying to kill a bit of time. So I thought I'd come up with a game, and uh, a few people have shot in heap questions for Al, specifically around development, things like that, and I thought, we don't really know Al, so we're going to do a, what I call a hot minute. Hot minutes go both ways. Really? I'm just going back ways. Let's go both ways. Oh, I thought I was just going to throw you a question. No, both ways. Take some fun out of it. I thought I was <laughs> in the power scene. No, both ways. Oh. Um, um, the way I hope it works is you ask a question, the other person's got to answer it. Pretty basic. Pretty, pretty good game. Alright. <clears throat> Doing that first? First property purchase. First property purchase. Um, disgusting place in Bayswater, single unit development site on the rear. Uh, paint job like a kindergarten, smelt like spices. Yours? No, can't ask the same question. Right. Um, worst house you ever bought? I know it, but... Yeah, you bought a Western Red Cedar place. That's the one. Um, when I went through it, um, interesting couple I bought it off. Um, let's put it this way. None of the bedrooms had any doors. Swingers! And there was a spa in the lounge room on carpet. That's no joke. No joke. That, yeah. that was the, uh, <laughs> the worst house I've ever bought. Yeah. Um, first house to achieve uh, McClellan renovation. Mm. McClellan renovation, um, 102 Liverpool Road and Tillsythe, McClellan renovation, that's when it hit the peak. McEwen's flatback kitchen. Um, so this is a McClellan renovation owl named after a $5,000 renovation package I used to do across homes. Whole house done for five grand. Spotlight curtains, really bad carpet, tenant worthy carpet, tan bark, coat of paint in and out, and McEwen's flat pack kitchen, a bit of tiling to the uh, and a vanity for the laundry laundroom. McEwen's. McEwen's, <laughs> that's before Bunnings, isn't it? Showing my age now. Um, so there you go, five thousand dollars for first McClellan renovation. Serve the purpose. Alright, um stupidest finance mistake you've made. Do you think of it? Not a bad one. When you tried to pull all that stuff together, that stupid broker. Yeah, that was a good one. So um, we made a purchase. Um, I think we bought a commercial property at the point, um, and went and saw a finance broker, a business and corporate finance broker, who came to us and said, "I'll package everything you've got all together, and I'll." Um, I wanted mine, yours, and your dad's as well. So it was a it was a reasonable slice of the pie. Yeah, got to two weeks before settlement. Nothing had happened with this guy. Um, we had to call the banks in. We normally deal with quickly got it done, but. The mistake we learned was to, um, I guess, not put people out of their depth, not try and overload someone. He's probably getting greedy actually what he's trying to grab, but just go to people who know what they're doing. Okay. Your question. No, I just did the um, worst finance. And you answered it. No, you said yeah, it. <laughs> so, so I thought. Yeah. Um, what did you sell to pay for your first deposit? Uh, HQ Holden Premier. With a 308 super five speed nine inch dip, three and a half thousand dollars I got for it. It was big money back then. Um, dream holiday home, not not including Portsea that he just bought. Oh, I was got a holiday house in Portsea. Dream holiday home. I have to answer all these questions. Yeah, what well, no, did you answer that? Penthouse in the Gold Coast. That's Alice. Yeah, we'd go penthouse in the Gold Coast. Love the Gold Coast. Um, I just had a question for you, it's a good one. What was the last one I asked you? I asked you finance, then I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> you answered them. Um, what was the last one? What was the last one? Can I rewind it? No. Nah. Alright. So, what's um, the most surprising question you've been asked when signing a contract? The most surprising one? Um, we refer, refer to that as what's a conveyance a day. <laughs> Affectionately in the office, what's a conveyance a day? First property purchase, what's a conveyancer? And I didn't know what a conveyancer was. Yeah. Yep. Um, all right, um, cheapest property I've ever bought? I'd say it was the one next door to you in Bayswater, oh, yeah. um, in the Golden Mile of Bayswater there. Um, bought it right as the property market started to grow, um, developed the unit to make out of it. It was a 
I've got a Lewis and renovation, not quite to the standard of McClellan, a little bit better than that. Um, very old, not great house, um, put new carpet, new kitchen in, but I think I bought it for 142,000, maybe 143, within six months of eight at 220 or so. It really just picked as the market, it was right at the cusp. Um, cheap to start, but ended up uh, pretty quickly being a purchase. Can I go again? Fastest you've ever done a feasibility on a property deal and made an offer? Do you want to answer it? <laughs> I'm a little smug there. <laughs> I always know the answer. No, I just remember the, the pace we used to work out property deals when we were first doing developments. A great one was we went to an auction in, um, you've told the auction story on the water in, in Croydon. Uh, only fractionally, just okay. in that Karate Kid one. Yeah, so Kevin and I went to an auction. We were all set up to, to buy this property. It was a development site. Um, we went there with a plan, we'll bid up to this amount. As Cam talked about in the Karate Kid, what um, we look at each other going, do you want to go a bit further? <laughs> we're up to our limit. <laughs> uh, we bowed out of that option, but somehow Cam had a tip on a property around the corner, so we knocked on the door, That's spoke right. to the guy there, 82 year old bloke, said we were nice kids, kids of the day, uh, and bought his property on the spot. So that was probably the quickest turnaround. Um, and held that property for, we still own property actually. We still got two years. Still got two years there. So um, that, that was probably the quickest turn around. Um, spur of the moment because we're emotional about missing out on the auction um, 10 minutes before. Um, okay. Biggest cost you've forgotten to put into a feasibility? Biggest cost I've forgotten to put into a feasibility? Do you know what? Probably go open space tax at whatever that then we did that development down in the space to a to a site. That's yeah. right. That's, no, just remind me, that same development we did in, we put four units on the back of, we bought two houses and put four units on the back of both of them, I think it was, in Liverpool Road. We were gutted. The developer, the council thought we were big time developers, we were literally 20 year old kids at the time. And the, the, uh, the council made us put in a bitumen road cost us like $6,000 extra, we were devastated. We're going, it's an uproar, the council can't do this. Making us put in a road. It's Marbo, it's the vibe. Yeah. So, we put in a road. Yeah, that was one actually that we didn't budget for early on. So when you're developing in different councils, they have different infrastructure charges, different in different cities as well. Um, Queensland has a $28,000 uh, Headworks infrastructure charge per lot of dwelling you're making. Uh, and the councils in Melbourne that we were dealing with at the time were 5% of the land value. Compared to the council in terms of uh, Infrastructure charge to, I guess, lot their coffers. Yeah, nothing more than they just want you to uh, cover some development. So I think that's a hot minute. It's a hot minute if you got nothing better. Let's um, let's take a vote. Who was the best at asking questions? He's got this grin on his face every question. Like, oh, you've got a good answer. Give it there. Oh, sorry, I can't answer questions. <laughs>